Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how to scale up and scale down for the Azure App Service. Yeah, if you are using the App Service for hosting the website, and after you launch the website, we have a lot of the visitor accessing into the website. So, based on the traffic accessing into the website, we should consider the option to scale up and scale out for the app service in order to show the request from the user. So, in this video, we are going to deploy it together. Okay, let's get started. Open the browser and then asset into the Azure portal. This one is the app service I'm using to hosting the website. Yeah, and this is my website. You also know how to deploy the support from the Visual Studio to the app service in the previous video. So in this video today, I will talk about the configuration for the scale up and scale out app service plan. Okay. In the left menu, you scroll it down and you see we have the option E scale up. Let's click on it and open it. So here, you see, currently we are using the P3 V2 option on the tier plan. Yeah. So, in case if you think this plan is not powerful enough for your application, so we can upgrade it to another option for more powerful. So here, for example, I will upgrade this one to another option with the P3 V3. With this option, I think it's very powerful. We have the 195 minimum ICU and 332 GB of the memory at virtual CPU. Yeah. And I think this one is very powerful. So if you think this tire is powerful enough for the application, so let's click on the apply button. And after that, the, the tire or the absolute plan will be updated to a new one. Okay, and you see here, we have the change the plan. This is for the scale up, where we are able to increase or decrease the plan for the absolute. And for the scale out, let's click on this one. So here, you can see, we have some of the option for manually scale or custom auto scale. Yeah. So here, if you select the option manually scale, so it will be easier for you to handle or control the cost for the application. If you select the auto scale, it will be a little bit difficult for you to handle and manage the cost for the application. Yeah. If I select the option for scale manually, so here below we have the instant count. By default, it's only support for one instant. So here, for example, I change this one to three. Yeah. So that means I will have three, three instant of the app service. Yeah. For example, by default, we have only one instant. So if you install the website into app service, that means you have only one service or you can consider this one is only one PC surfing for the request from the user. But if you increase the instance from one to three, that means in one time you will have three PC, three app service or three instance serving the request from the user. For example, if we have a lot of the user accessing into the website at the same time, so the system, I mean the Azure portal system, will use the load balancer mechanism to balance the loading for the app service. Yeah. So it will use the load balancer mechanism automatically to serve the website. For example, I'm the first visitor, so I will access the website via the first intent. Thus, we have another person access in the same time into the app service, but the subcode will be serving for the user via the instant number two or even instant number three. 
That means we can handle a lot of the request from the user at the same time if we increase the instance for the app service. Yeah. Okay, so here, for example, you have just increase the instance for the app service to three. So you click on save button. You need this video. You understand what does it mean for the scale up or scale out for the app service plan. Yeah. And you also know how to change the tire for the app service or also know how to add some more instance for load balancing in the app service. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Thank you. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.